Okay, it's 6 o'clock. We're going to go ahead and call the meeting to order, and we'll start with the pledge, and then Commissioner Patton, if you'll release an indication, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, gracious Father in heaven, we pause this day to give thee thanks. Thank you for everything at Willows as it is, for present health, strength, and energy. Oh, so thankful that we live in such a country that we have these freedoms. We bless you, bless on the military and those that protect us, the foreign police, keep them safe and keep them from harm. We pray, Father, we assemble tonight that we'll have discussed the affairs of the city of Beaver Dam in the most uh, uh, professional way, remembering to uh, make the decisions of what's best suited for our citizens and for the future of our community. For be with us and guard us where we might be. For keep us from the evil one. In Christ's name. Amen. 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 <laughs> Welcome everyone out tonight. Uh, first item of business is approval of minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes. And that is regular and a special call meeting as well. Second. We have a motion to second any further discussion. Those in favor signify with aye. 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 Opposed same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. Make the motion to pay the bills. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Old business. First item is approved the second reading of the 1718 budget amendment. Yes. I move through the second reading of the 1718 budget amendment. <coughs> I'll second that. So motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is approved the second reading of the 1819 budget, which last meeting we did have our first reading. Are we going to have time for any discussion on that? Yeah. Now's the time. Well, mine's personnel related, so we're going to be going into closed session, anyways. Hmm. We can. Yeah. 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 Okay. You want to wait on that one? Wait yes, on please. One. Okay. okay. The next item under new business, number one, is the amend the business license ordinance for the Carnival Show, Street Fairs, and Circus. And that's in your packet under the business license. And I'm not sure. Mary, we find out this happened back in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. I was here. Was that? Yeah. Okay. Most of our business licenses are in the. <laughs> 25 to 45 dollar range except for one carnival shows street fairs circus and it is 200 dollars for each day that they're in operation and this came about when they had the carnival here in town back a month or so ago six weeks ago and uh just something I wish A.V. was here because A.V. talked about it and I think we did he talked to me about some too. changes to change it down uh, I think it really needs to be done. Uh, I'll just give you the history on it because I was here. But that still won't change the fact we did it. Uh, I think that's, we look back at it, it shouldn't have happened because it wasn't fair. I like to see it either pretty close in compensation or like leave it $100 for the whole week. Well, that would be a whole lot more economical. If, but you know, there are others of that high, so I would try to make it on the high end of the other, like $50. Well, and that's whatever the pleasure of this commission is. This, where this came about, one thing is the problem is you don't know for sure how long they're going to be there, and you're doing so much a day. It's mm -hmm. you either have to wait until the match fact hope you get it, or you build well, up front. And they're actually only supposed to be open Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, right? No, the no. This has nothing to do with the Strawberry Festival. No, this is not Strawberry. This is the this other is one. It was in Midtown. Strawberry Festival because well, okay. it's a city event. Right. Okay. This is all. You're talking about the one. The one that was at Midtown. Yeah. And he was going to be there for a week or more. Well, Walmart only pays two hundred dollars a year, so it's not really fair to yeah. charge these people so much a day. I think they're the only one that's a daily, isn't it, Mary? Yeah. That's what I thought. So I like to make a would you like that motion on that. Mm -hmm. I like to uh, move that we amend the uh, carnival show street fair to a hundred dollars uh, per event. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. 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 Opposed same. Motion passes. Next item is a bid out for blacktop 
for 18 and 19. Yeah, it's going to be approximately 500 tons. Uh, I do not have the street list ready yet, so. So how much would that put on the street list? No. How many square foot would that have to cover? That five? Uh, well, it depends on how bad it is. Any leveling or base or if it's all surface. Okay. I didn't know what, you don't have a street then. Which I, actually, uh, Hickory Drive, I've got a price on that. He's got a tonnage, so it, the tonnage is actually going to be more. Ten ton will go 90 feet, 9 foot wide. Is this the same list Two inches deep. you had no, sent me earlier? No, I think why. Okay, that's what I thought. Two inches deep. So. This would be the best for 50 foot of rope. Okay. That yep. I do want to talk to you about a couple of things. Can we usually do them in each so on resurface? Yeah, on resurface, you, well, actually, sometimes on, on resurface, you only go a half minute. Oh, okay. Depending on what you're doing. It depends, well, you know, if you're filling well, it. Some of them up there at Hickory, some of them, they've never had a top coat on. Well, that's <laughs> Hickory's a unique situation. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to a motion to allow to, to do advertise for bids. We accept. Uh, uh, advertise for bids for black top. I'll get, I'll get Mary the tons here in just a minute. When I, five hundred tons is a lot. That'll go a long way. Yeah, Hickory Hickory Drive is is going to be a lot of, a lot of bikes. Yeah. Can we have a motion and second any further discussion? Those in favor signify with I. Aye. Post same. Hickory Drive is sixteen six hundred sixteen ton of base, four hundred thirty nine ton of asphalt or of surface. So it, it's going to be over a thousand. Right there, just on that one street. It's pretty long. Are they completely too. starting from scratch on that? It didn't have much. Wasn't that the the person? Did, did we accept it as being? See, that's our mistake. We shouldn't have done that. I agree. Is that not in our? And I, I'm not seeing. Yeah, it's supposed to be certain base, certain certain. Yeah, but we yeah. can't. We can't very well go backwards on something that was done before our time. But we just move forward. Yeah. And you know me, that's a sore subject with me because asphalt's my stuff. <laughs> okay, next item is to approve the uh, BD building construction invoice for June. Yeah, I think you have it. Yeah, it's probably in my mailbox. So, no, I don't have it with me. Yeah. Mary's got a copy. I'm, I'm good. She'll have it covered. This is the next to the last payment. <laughs> Actually, this one's June, June 15th, it's finished exposed, really. Yes. This is 83080 How much does that leave on the contract, Mary? Uh, how much was the contract for, do you remember? Four. I'm not sure. After this payment here, there'll be $341,840. Okay, so it's going to be about $80,000, $80 to $90,000 more. Okay. Okay, we need a motion to pay this. So moved. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? <laughs> Where do you need more, it from? Those in favor, see if I thigh. Opposed, same. Next item is to review the insurance. And <coughs> we're going, <coughs> the low bid, we, we did not get to go to market like we planned on because of a multitude of things came up, but we did get uh, a discount from KLC to the tune was about $4,000. Yeah, this is something, this is step two of that. But it says about a $4,000 decrease over last year's premiums to stay with Kentucky League of Cities. What this is, is a rate stabilization agreement where they have through KLC that if we're willing to sign off on it, uh, they guarantee that the premiums next year will not increase by more than 3%. Uh, provided we stay below 65% property of 65% uh, loss ratio, which has not been a problem for us. I guess our first would need to go ahead and accept the KLC insurance, and then we can come back and accept this separately if we like. So we'll move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Post same motion passes. Um, this stabilization is something that, if we were to change, um, actually we would be in for next year, but it would guarantee that it would go up no more than three percent. So there'd still be next year's premiums be even less than what they were last year if we decide to do this, or we can also always not do it and stay with the market fluctuation of the market. We've been with them for quite a few years, so. Well, they're very good to us. Yeah. 
a lot of things. So, so we'll need to entertain that in the form of a motion to do this. So we'll, we'll move. Okay, we have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Now, last time we took insurance bids, it was a mess. It's so hard to compare apples and apples. So. Well, and that's what we're running into this year. And so many people, like uh, Shirt Partners is our broker, but they don't keep this information. It's with KLC. So they very well can't go to KLC and get it to go to Travelers or whoever to go to a competitor. So I think they tried to get some information together for some of the other, other carriers, but it was a whole lot to it. And even with this, there may be some numbers we may look at. Did you see some of the numbers they were insuring some of these buildings for? Mm -hmm. We may, before we so. finalize it, then we may check on some of that. Because I know like Oldham Park, some of them are pretty high, high dollar amounts. So. Okay. Just for comments, Mr. Mr. Harrison Taylor, we'll start with you first. Yeah. I was wondering if uh, the Strawberry Fest Fund could cover the electric and water for the month of May or a portion of it since we used all that fire station. Give me a bill and we'll see what we can do. Okay. We're still paying out, sir. All right. That's all I've got. But if you could get it to me, maybe leave it in my mailbox on this week, it would help. Just because I, I don't ever see them, so I oh. have to ask Annie for it. Okay. Just so we're, I'm going to try to get everything done before the end of June. Right. Water we not actually know until... Yeah. Okay. It'll be a few days before we know on that. Okay. It's same as the too. Mr. Pratchett, Mr. Pratchett. Tommy? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have an issue. Um, I live at the Beaver Inn Housing Authority, and a few months ago, uh, they asked me to move to a two story apartment because one of my, I lived in a one story handicap accessible apartment. And one of the neighbors uh, had, a, had a stroke, and they asked me if she could have my apartment. So they gave me a day's notice, and I moved. Just the two of us, we moved all of my furniture over to a two-story apartment. Um, since then, myself and all three of my kids have gotten sick. Um, we all have pneumonia, and I have, doctor, I have proof from the doctor that it's because there's mold in the apartment. I, when I first moved in, I complained to the, to the building managers that the floor was always wet. Um, they said that the, the air conditioner must not be working right. Now, before I go into that, my stepdad is an, does HVAC, but he's in Afghanistan right now, so he can't come and fix it. Um, but the floor was always wet, and then I kept my couch started getting damp. You'd sit down, and your clothes would get wet. And the, the rug was always damp. Um, the counters were, you know, always damp. Well, the kids started getting sick, nose started running, headaches, crying all the time. I thought it was just allergies. So I put them on medicine. Um, and then two weeks ago, I, put, I was rearranging furniture, and I went to move my rug, and there was black mold growing under it because it's always wet. And so I told the building managers about it. Um, I rushed to the emergency room because my, my, I have a five-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-year-old. My one-year-old had gotten this cough, and every time he breathed, his chest would run. Um, so I just rushed him to the, to the emergency room. I just wanted x-rays going, and they said that all three of them had pneumonia, and that I, you know, that I would probably have it too. Um, I asked the building managers for a dehumidifier, and they, did, they denied me one until yesterday. They said that they, it wasn't their job to get me one, that I had to buy my own. Um, they finally got me one yesterday. This is, I've lived there for two three months and I went up until what was last week I didn't have an oven or so that's you know that's just another problem but the I've asked them several times if I can just move to another apartment there are three vacant apartments and they won't listen to me they won't they can tell me because I have I switched my water over to the new apartment but I haven't switched my electric and my gas yet because I told them there was an issue and I wanted to move to another apartment and I didn't want to pay another fine to have my all my utilities switched again if I sure. should move. Well they're saying they're going to evict me. They're saying that they're going to evict me on She Friday. put a video on Facebook showing the moisture and everything in her apartment and the next day they came and gave me and an gave her a section of this. They were mad that I posted on I've even went to the office to tell them how bad they were sick and everything, and how bad the moisture was in the apartment. And they're blaming it on her things. She doesn't do. It's a 
two story apartment. It's one of the townhouses. Okay. Got, so it's got enough. Yeah, yeah. Is something from the upstairs running down into the. Well, the, into the, they're talking about taking her bathroom wall out this, now because the, something. They said they said that the, the wall was like squishy, like it was like it was wet, but they they won't do anything about it. Drywall will bubble if it gets there, wet. No, there's an air return downstairs with the air conditioner, but I didn't realize that there was one upstairs because it's above, you know, it's up high, it's above your head. So I didn't realize that it was up there. They do monthly inspections to make sure we're keeping our apartments clean, and they they're There's supposed to they're supposed to switch. They didn't our change the filters again this past month. Before they went three months without doing it. Every this apartment month. there, that's what <coughs> I took mine out months ago and threw it away. And I just I just realized that there was one upstairs. This is what it looked like. It's I mean. I, today, just today, they came in and they asked me if I had, if I had switched my utilities yet. I said, no, can I please move to another apartment? I said, told them, and I went to the doctor last week, and the doctor told us that we're not getting better. My kids have been on antibiotics for two weeks. They're not getting better. They're getting worse. And uh, he, he, he started cussing me. He told me that uh, mm -hmm. he, because uh, he's, he's saying that I'm leaving the windows open while the air's running. Okay, well. Even if I was doing that, it wouldn't cause as much moisture that it's causing. I, my stepdad's an HVAC guy. I know this. I live in one of the apartments as well. My kids are in and out. My front and back door's open all the time. Air going. There's no moisture whatsoever. There's my nothing apartment. wrong with my apartment. Are you in one of the townhouses too? Mm -hmm. She's five doors down from me. And I, I, just, I complained today they came and they was like, have you switched your utilities? And I said, no, can I please move to another apartment? And then I'll switch my utilities. And he... He said, he said, no, he said, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And I said, well, we've already crossed that bridge. My kids all have pneumonia and they're getting worse and they're not getting better. If they're not better by Friday, the doctor is, is admitting them to the hospital. And I'll have three kids, five, two. She's got one. pneumonia as well. She lost 14 pounds in the first month of moving there. All of them throwing up, waking up, throwing up, thinking that they had a stomach virus and come find, it's from the mold in that apartment. The people who lived there previously had complained, we found this out, you know, afterwards, that they complained to them as well about something wrong in the apartment and they won't do anything about it. Not only did they just give her a day's notice, she lost her job because of it. So this switching utilities isn't as easy as what they seem to think it is. She's broke. I have no money. If I, did, if I had money, guys, I wouldn't look at that one. There's a reason I live there. They've already made her pay over $900 when I lived in the restaurant at Victor because they refused to switch it from where she had a job to zero income. They continually made her pay that and she couldn't do it. Yes. You know, they're, you know, it's income based. They're supposed to change it in the system once your income is, you know, changed. Once I lost the job, I went down there and I told them and she just kept on, uh, we'll just come back down tomorrow and I'll have to pay for it. We'll come back down tomorrow and I'll have to pay for it. And this went on for months. And then finally I got an eviction notice that I owed almost $900. And I went down there and I was like, look, you know I don't have a job. You know, this, I, I don't know what you want me to do. And she was like, well, we can't change it in the system. So I, I was babysitting kids, cleaning people's houses, doing whatever I could to scrape and save money. But they changed mine. Yeah, no problem. They changed everybody else's. No problem. But they wouldn't change my income in the system. So I ended up paying, just scrounging for money so that my kids could have a place to stay. And they still haven't changed her rent. They still, with today. Which it isn't a lot, okay? Her rent's, you know, around $60 a month, but she has no money. No Mine's based off of $500 a month, and mine is half of what she's supposed to be paying. Okay, I'm with, what's your name? Heather. Her my, name's, my name's Whitney Middles Dresser. And you're? Heather Fleener. Heather, I'm sorry. Cleaner. And Whitney, what was the last name? <laughs> Middle Strasser. That was a new one on me. I haven't heard that one before. I ended up last week, my mom had to pay for me to stay in the hotel for two days because we went to the doctor and he said that if we didn't get out of the apartment, we were just, he was going to have to admit me to the hospital. We stayed at the Beaver Day Man for two nights. And the day that I got there, I was really dizzy. I was getting out of breath, just, you know, picking up my kids, just doing simple stuff that I do all the time. Um, and within staying there for two days, I felt I felt 100% better. But you know, as soon as we came back, um, and you all heard me, I've been coughing, getting lightheaded, and and instead of helping me or doing anything about it, I'm getting cussed. And no, they're you know, awful. They really are. <coughs> you go down there, and you know, I went down there to talk to him about you know I lost my job, and uh, 
I told you know told them about it. They're in there. I'm dead. Serious. I'm not just trying to throw them under the bus. I'm telling you, they're in there so hungover that they're falling asleep. Or I don't know if she was actually drunk. She she couldn't quit laughing. She laughing at nothing. And I was just like, oh, who, who's she? Sierra Blacklock. Sierra Blacklock. And then Matthew Matthew Rose. Are these? Uh, you've you've talked to the maintenance people about this. Have you yes. gone to the actual board meetings well, that run the place? I don't know how to get to the board without going through Matt and Sierra. We called. I called the uh, number, and they said to speak to the mayor. They said I needed to talk. They told me to, that I had to, that you were over the board, and then I had to speak to you. I called up here, and they said we called the health department. We called everyone we could think of to call to try to get help. <coughs> Well, I have no problem calling Matt. We don't have any, the, the city really has no authority over the housing authority. <laughs> I mean, now you need to talk to the, to the housing authority board. Mm -hmm. Well, they meet, you want me to do that? And they go down there tomorrow. She's driving a vehicle. She's driving a vehicle. If we do that, we have no home. You know, we have they get to keep their jobs and treat us like dirt. <coughs> I mean, I, I look guys, I understand that there are a lot of people who take advantage of the system, yeah. but I live there because I have nowhere else to go. My family doesn't live here. I have no family here. My family lives in Bowling Green and Scottsville, that area. I moved up here to be with my ex, and now we have kids. And I mean, this is just the this is just the situation that I'm living in right now until I can better until I can better it. But if my kids are always sick, I can't put them in daycare. No daycare will keep them if they're sick. I can't keep a job. I can't. My car's you know about to fall apart. I don't know what else to do. And right now we're just my kids are about to get put in the hospital with pneumonia. Are there other townhouse yep. units available? Yes, yes. <coughs> I've been there talking to them myself. Okay. The apartment, the day, asked, the day we had a stroke, they asked me to move. The apartment, she never even took the apartment. She, the, that, my old apartment is still vacant. Still empty. It's still we empty. Did it for nothing. What's she your, lost her for nothing. Hmm? What's your apartment number? Not right now, it's 406. My daughter's on the housing authority. We'll be down there tomorrow. Does that make will that help at least? Yes. We'll see what's going on. Yes, well, I mean, because they're, they're saying that they're going to on Friday, if I don't switch, if I don't switch yeah, the utilities, can. I don't want to switch over the utilities and then have to do it. I understand right. that she had to pay twice for the right. yeah. hookup fee. Right, I don't want to have to do it. I understand all that. If they've got, a, I don't. I guess what the big deal is if they've got other yeah, they got units. A, that's, that's the thing. And like I said, my daughter is on the housing board authority, or housing authority board, and I'll go down there with her tomorrow morning. We'll be down there tomorrow. We'll come. My mom Talk is on. chairman of the board. Yeah. And, and she's she been out this. this past week. My uncle was sick, and then he passed away. You know, the way that Matt's here, the, the board is wanting me out. Show me the, the Facebook post. Oh, well, then, when I, when I found the mold, I wrote Sierra on Facebook, and I told her, I was like, I need you and Matt uh, at my apartment in the morning. I wanted to show them the mold. I wanted to show them, you know, I, it was all over my carpet, and it was growing, and the, the, top, the floors in the, in the apartment is kind of like what you'd see, like, like a school or a hospital. And there was mold growing out of the, the center, you know, the cracks at the top. And I wrote her, and I was just like, I need you and Matt at my apartment in the morning. And uh, she called me, and she said, is something wrong? And I said, um, I said, yeah, I said, I said, I found mold, and I think that's what's wrong with my kids. They've been sick for months. And then it was a couple days later, she made a post on Facebook about how it was, it's, she said, I'm so tired of people keeping me miserable at home with stuff at, from work. You wouldn't like it if you worked all the time and when you finally got to go home with your little girl, people blow your phone up. You, you're not paying my phone bill. I don't get paid for nights or weekends there. Uh, I have at least six people who do this every day and I have, to, I have to put a stop to it for my own sanity. I feel like I don't ever have time off. If you have questions or concerns about to, anything to do with the housing authority, please don't private message me anymore. If we can't contact our building manager, then who, who do we talk to? You know? and, and I can't get to the board without going to them. I went down there the day before yesterday. No, it was Friday afternoon. <coughs> so my front door is falling off. The whole frame, the wood around the screen door is coming off. It's held on by one nail up there, and it could come off at any time. It's a heavy door for so these little kids. You know, Caden's in collateral. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I went down there. They called David, the maintenance man, while I was there. No one has shown up still. 
and I said something about my fiance fixing it, and they refused. He's not to touch it because if he tears it up, then I have to pay for the help, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I'm scared it's going to fall off and hit one of the children. Mm -hmm. It's not a hard thing to fix. It's and easy. Then, um, this isn't anything to do with me. There's another lady that lives there, and her son is disabled, and I think he's almost blind. He's a, he's a toddler, and they have refused to help her. She lives in a handicapped apartment, and they, or no, they, she, she asked for a handicapped apartment. Well, my old apartment is handicapped accessible, and they refused that she she wasn't allowed to live there. Um, they said that she said that her what was it, her light fixture caught on fire in her living room, and it caught on fire, and nobody and they came up and refused to help her fix it. Their walls are covered in soot. They're all coughing and hacking, and they're all sick because of it. And they're denying that it ever happened, saying that she's a liar. When I when when I complained to them that my oven wasn't working, the maintenance guy came up there, and he went back down to Matt Sierra and told him that I was hot, that I, that it was working fine. It wasn't working. It wouldn't come on. It wouldn't come on at all. They finally got her a new one what, last, last week, week. They got me a new one, but I went two months without a working oven or stove. I couldn't, you know, cooking my kids' food in the microwave. I mean, and they telling me, you know, that I'm hot, that I'm, I must be on drugs since it works fine. Like, this is, I'm sorry, it's a lot to throw at you. But I'm, no, just, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm fed up with it, and I don't know what else to do. It's my job to take care of my kids and keep them healthy and safe, and I can't do that if the people who were supposed to help me won't do it. All right. We'll be done. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know how this works. Oh, you're welcome to go. You're welcome to go or stay, either way. Mike? Yeah. Tuesday of this month, I think our sewer discount is scheduled to run out this month or next. So I'll probably go to the meeting and see if we get it for another six months. And uh, that's really all that's going on, I guess. I have nothing. Fish cut? No, I've already talked to, you know, about something I want at cemetery, so we're in good shape. Yes. Yeah. Kevin? Uh, got one thing I just want to talk in closed session, but that's it. I'm good. Larry? Nope. Not after closed session. Heidi? Not a thing. We're no I guess we can go to closed session. Take the motion. <coughs> go into closed session. I don't know. I heard my phone all the time. No. Okay. Are you going to make a motion to go back into open session? All back. Second. Did you second that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. We back from the closed session. Of course, no business was conducted. In there, so. Okay. I think the last item on the agenda is the budget. 2018-2019. Second reading. Second reading. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. Anybody have anything else? We we'll a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Oh, I should hear somebody in there. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Well, I didn't know.